wicked shows, that kind of thing. Uh, he was up hanging out in Southern Illinois here around Easter time. I don't know if he's still up there or, or uh, if he's back home in North Carolina, but I'm sure Lauren, you'll let me know. It's good to good to hear from you guys. Nick Embry in Ontario, Canada. Shout outs to the Gladiator Pit wants to get going here. I don't blame you, man. We're we're a little late on the start time here as they had a lot of cars to get through. We apologize for that delay, but I'm looking forward to action here on the track tonight. Let's see what we got out here on this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it looks like Seven and six is 13. If that's all, we'll see. Um, it means that roughly around 130 cars. Break them up into break them up into heats of 10 or heats of 13. Excuse me. Here's a up close look here. Hot Springs Havoc 2021 live from Hot Springs, Arkansas. We are DTV powered by DEC headers, presented by Collier Performance Engines. And uh, as I said early in the show, if you were tuned in with us. Um, I don't yet have driver's lists, so I will do my best to call cars as I see them. And then uh, as soon as I get driver's lists, I will uh, obviously read off of those. So I may have to rely on you guys for a little while if, if there's somebody I'm talking about that I get the name wrong or something like that. You just let me know, and, and I'll uh, try to get it corrected for you. I want to say hi to our good buddy Clutch Marls, Clutch watching from the shop. He's in uh, southern Indiana trying to finish his urban build. And man, I know how that is, Clutch. Uh, and I know uh, sometimes we catch up with you out there in Evansville and you're still finishing the car at the track. I know how that feels. So hope things go well for you. Bob Skip Johnson. Hey, buddy. Uh, haven't heard from you uh, in a while, Bob. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for sending us a message. I want to say uh, thanks to Jeffy's Fab Farm. Jeffy's Fab Farm bringing you the first heat. Check out his website at jeffysfabfarm.com. First heat of Havoc class coming up. Thanks, Jeffy's Fab Farm. You can check out his website at jeffysfabfarm.com. Also, thanks to Jeffy's. We are live on Facebook, giving you a live look in at the action that you're going to see here throughout the course of the night tonight. Ten heats of action on the track, running a two-track system. And if you like what you're seeing on Facebook, you can always tune in at derbynation.tv to catch all the action. Ten qualifying rounds tonight. A consolation at noon tomorrow. A youth class, a compact class, and a metric feature all coming up tomorrow, as well as the main event feature, which pays $10,000 to win. Make sure you're tuning in. Get your ticket at DerbyNation.tv. You can watch it all. And even, even anything you might have missed, you can uh, go back tomorrow and, and get caught up on tonight, whatever you need to do. Fans, uh, we showed you the first episode exclusively of the Derby Build Season 1 uh, reality series that we've been working on here at DTV. If it's the first time that you've seen that, if you didn't catch it on our video on demand library, make sure you're checking out the Derby Builds Facebook page. 
if you go to Facebook and search for Derby Builds, you can find the Facebook page there. And uh, it has all of the, the teasers, the trailers, the promos, the upcoming stuff, and uh, let you know when stuff's coming out every Friday night. Every Friday night, 7 p.m. Uh, Central Time. That will be po the new episodes we posted on our video on demand library, and you can watch them all uh, on there. Right now, there are three episodes that are in the library, so you can get a you know kind of a taste of the action. And there's nine episodes total in the season to finish things up. And what it is, if you if you didn't catch the the trailer and the first episode, is it kind of chronicles the start of Mark Klein's uh, career in Demolition Derby after a long time away. So uh, he's basically showing what it takes to get back in and to compete on a national level at a show like River City Rampage where uh, in Henry where he, he um, came back last year and and uh, you'll have to see how he did. He uh, brought a, a real competitive car out there. So the, the episode will chronicle that. It'll show his progress and it, and it culminates with uh, with him running at River City Rampage in Henry, Illinois. So we shall see how things go. We got uh, both tracks looks like closed up. Officials are getting themselves into position. Getting ready for a countdown. And here we go. Have a class heat number one underway. Making contact. We'll see how it's going to go. Are they going to be strategic or are they going to go wild? Had, uh, I mentioned that the bubble wagon, the GM wagon, right there in the center of the screen. I mentioned him uh, just before the heat. He was saying how it was pre-ran and already kind of started the belly. I was wondering how it was going to do. That driver uh, climbed out of the car before the start of the heat and uh, went up into the stands. So I don't know if maybe he was just hoping to uh, hoping to get a car on the track so that he could run it in the consolation tomorrow, or or what the plan was. Maybe he had some issues right at the beginning. But uh, could be a contender for our Hard Luck Award, American Outlaw Hard Luck Award. We shall see, depending on what went down with the car. Good shot here from our Impact Derby Products backside cam, giving you a look at the action as one of the Boyers is getting worked into the barricades and through into the middle there. 23, working on him. Good shot there from Fathead. 71X. I did get some driver's list in my hands now, fans, but uh, there's not many numbers associated with the names on these driver's lists. So I'll, I'll read off the names, and I'll do my best to call action as I see them, but uh, I want to recognize the drivers so they're not left out. In this first heat, we've got Johnny Barnes, James Christman driving the number one. Jeff Singleton, Noah Boyer, Chance Neighbors, Jeremy Fowler, McCoy Sollers, Craig Gernigan, uh, Brian Lucas, the 54, Brandon, Brendan Harvey in the 24, Chris Singleton, Mike Graves, Britton Reed. Uh, that's Brittany Reed, I believe. Let me just check. Yes, Brittany Reed, uh, Brett Rains, and Nathan Turner in this first heat. Good shot of Brittany Reed there on the right-hand side of the screen. The pink and black car looks like she's got a little bit of suspension issues. Maybe looks like that passenger front wheel was laid over or maybe having a tie rod issue. Boy, Noah Boyer having a rough time on the left-hand side of the screen. That 23 pounding away on Boyer and uh, being told 
being told to go somewhere else. Leave him alone. So Stick is looks like it's down on Moyers number 20 there in the corner. Fathead in the 71X getting worked on by the 11. 11, I think, is Singleton, if I'm not mistaken. Chris Singleton. Thirty-three with a nice shot. Jeffy's Fab Farm bringing you Havoc Class Heat Number One. We're live on Facebook, and fans, if you're watching on Facebook and you like what you see, this is just the beginning of the action here at Hot Springs Havoc. There's ten heats of action tonight, and uh, you can catch it all on DerbyNation.tv. We're going to show you this first heat, and the rest will be live on Derby Nation. So you want to make sure you get your ticket on there, get your multi-pass ticket. You can watch all weekend. We got uh, the heat heats here tonight as well as a consolation round or two tomorrow at noon and then ooh, good shot here fat had taken a shot and then uh, in the evening tomorrow night we got a youth division a metric division uh, compact division as well as the ten thousand dollar to win main event uh, we'll see how it all plays out you got drivers like Vic Whaley Bob Whitaker Brandon Johnson Harry Hatton I mean, the list goes on and on and on. Gerald Willems, who won here last year. It's, uh, it's anyone's game. We'll see how it all plays out. Round and round they go, the 27, trying to work on a competitor there in the corner. up the gas a little bit. Oh, door shot. 33 putting a shot on the door right there. Flashlights are running. Stick down on the 33. Chrisman in the one, still looking pretty good, taking a shot there from the 27M. Andy Duvall, sorry I missed you. Wanted to give a big shout out to Avery, Olivia, and Macy Engage. Avery, Olivia, Macy Engage, we really appreciate the young fans watching. Thanks for tuning in as you guys are getting ready to head to Spring X. We look forward to seeing you there. Justin King and the Wolf Pack watching in Union Grove. Got to make sure that Wolf Pack is watching. Glad to have you all with us. Byron Vanderhoof said hi to you earlier, but coming out of Boston, Wisconsin, and uh, Bill Williams in North Indiana. We appreciate that very much. Action uh, starting to wane a little bit here as drivers start to jockey for position, get themselves into those money-making spots. I believe that hasn't changed, but they're still taking just three out of each heat.
uh, Christman making some contact there in the one, working on that 27. So 87 going up in smoke, a lot of steam out of that thing. It's getting warm. The 34 still looking pretty clean in the front. 23 was aggressive early, working on Boyer. Noah Boyer had a rough ride there, but uh, unless something major broke, at least he'll have a good, good shot at the Concy. Impact Derby Products trackside cam, giving you an up-close look at the action here, showing you what the officials see from the berm right here onto the track. Almost a miss there. Looking for that axle shot. Hey, just got word the Goon Squad's tuned in. Hey guys, glad to have you all here with us. Goon Squad watching from Bartleso. See the flashlights going around here. They're gonna throw the red flag, get these guys stopped up. Maybe having a little impromptu drivers meeting with some of these guys. Shameless welding red flag. Now they got something leaking they're checking on. Looking at the 626 of Nathan Turner. What is that? Oh, that's, that's important. Might be a little warm. Back to green. Short-lived shameless welding red flag. We're back to the action. Now we'll see if, uh, if Turner turns the heat up a little bit knowing he doesn't have a pulley on that motor anymore and it's only a matter of time before she gets real hot. Nice, working on that axle. 34 getting in there, but just working on the doors. It's not going to hurt nothing to hit the cage. Look at the power on the 27. Maybe eight. He can be down to three. Hey, Andy Snarborough, I see you're watching there on Facebook. We appreciate that very much, and thank you for the stars. Want to make sure I give you a shout out for that, Andy. Appreciate that very much. Remember, if you like what you're seeing on Facebook, you can always tune in. For the rest of the action, heats 2 through 10 on DerbyNation.tv. You want to get your ticket, get a multi-pass ticket on DerbyNation.tv. Watch all the action live for the rest of the night. There's plenty of it still to come and all kinds of stuff tomorrow as well. So get your multi-pass ticket, get the whole weekend. You can see it all. Derby fans, you know how this goes. This is heat number one. 
it always takes a little bit of time to get the get the pace kind of worked out. Drivers are uh, kind of feeling each other out here. They're getting the, getting a the feel of the track itself and what the promoter is going to allow. So we're seeing some strategic driving, but uh, what we're, we're also seeing is a front bumper trying to fall off the 087 there, and he's going up in smoke. James Chrisman being pretty smart. He was going for a shot there and uh, realized it was a, probably a bad bad idea to take a frame, uh, you know, a straight frame there right into the bumper or whatever. So he avoided that nose shot. Now he's turning himself around, maybe looking for an axle. I want to say congratulations while we're here to Tyler Smay and Jenna Klatt. Congratulations on your engagement. I want to say hi to Blaine Rogers. Blaine, thank you for watching on Facebook and thank you for the stars. We got a red flag on the track here. GH Graphics red flag as they're picking up a bumper. Getting that clear of the track, and looks like they got something else out there too. A piece of sheet metal or a piece of plywood or something. It was hard to tell. But uh, Blaine Rogers, thank you for the stars. We appreciate that. If you like what you're watching on Facebook, make sure you get in the ticket. DerbyNation.tv. Want to say hi to Jordan Burgess. Jordan watching with his buddy. Travis O'Connell hanging out, having a good time. Thanks for being with us, guys. Back to green. Short lived red flag. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're starting to get a little, little worn down now. Matthew Wilbers of Fall Derby Cars watching from Salina, Kansas. Chrisman taking a shot from the 27. The 27 gets a shot. He's becoming a bit of a pinball out there right now. Bouncing around a little bit. Lance Brinklow out of Ontario, Canada. With the border being closed, it's been a bit of an issue, and I'm glad you guys are able to watch at home. Thank you very much. flashlights being shined at the drivers that's one of the ways the officials try to get their attention let them know to pick up the pace or to, to you know lay off somebody if they're holding them or something like that so but the officials use those flashlights to try to catch the, catch the attention of the driver and then convey their message sometimes it can be confusing as to what they're trying to tell you but officials can only do so much the drivers do their best to not look at the officials and to play that game I want to say hi to Steve Sr., my dad watching at home, Crash 603 in the house, posted on the DTV Fan Chat Facebook page, as you should be as well. If you're watching at home and you want to participate in the show, you can post on the DTV Fan Chat Facebook page, and I will do my best to recognize you and give you a shout-out. Giving you a taste of the action here with the Impact Derby Products trackside cam, showing you what the officials see from the berm right here, up close and personal to the track here in Hot Springs, Arkansas. Hot Springs Havoc, the Havoc class, a main class here this weekend, underway with heat number one. Charles Winters watching from Muncie, Indiana. Thanks, Charles. We appreciate that. And Steve Miller, sorry I missed you. Steve and Marcy in Lakewood, Ohio. Glad to have you here with us. Somebody's doing a little bit of whistling out there. It might be uh, 
going to say it might be Turner's car, but I think he's, yeah, he's already out of it now. Somebody's got a little squeaking and whistling going on. Once again, just want to reiterate that I do have a driver's list now, but the driver's list has uh, very few numbers associated with the names on the list. So I'm doing my best to just recognize drivers as I see them, but uh, I, don't, I don't want to leave anyone out, so I apologize if you feel like I'm missing anybody or anything like that. Travis O'Connell, Tilt Nation. He wants to give a shout-out to Logan Sorensen. I understand that. Front bumper still trying to come off the 087. He's, he's pretty hung on it. He's driven over it. I want to say thanks to Brian Gearhart. Brian, Brian Gearhart. Uh, Calvin's wrecking crew doing a good job of uh, helping out with Mark's build for Derby Builds. You'll see that in the seasons uh, as you go through and, and also helping with some parts for season two for CJ's build. He's got a bumper ready for us for CJ's car, so looking forward to that. One, two, three, four, five. Five cars, maybe six, need to get down to three. tell you, if you're on the fence about whether or not to get the ticket to watch the rest of these heats, Vic Whaley Jr. is in heat number four, Bob Whitaker's in heat number three, Jared Donahue's in heat seven, Blake Reese is in, uh, and Mike Sethale are in heat nine, Craig Grunigan's in this heat, we already mentioned that, Justin Hale's in heat eight, and it's, it's a, just a packed list all the way through. Veteran driver Joe Kripe's in heat number two. Just kind of going through the list, Jared Wagster, man, that guy drives. Jared Wagster's got a heck of a power plant under the hood. He's in heat number three. Barry Passmore is in heat number four. I mean, these guys are coming out of the woodwork to be here. Say hi to uh, Nathan Knox Truck and Broad from American Outlaw Derby Products. American Outlaw is busy making parts, but they have the TV on in the shop, and uh, we're glad to see that they're watching. And they're also glad to see that their parts are working hard for everybody out here on the track. Good shot right there. But you see the front suspension brake. That wheel is uh, not happy. Been missing a tie rod, and maybe even something else has gone wrong because it looks like it's sitting a little low on that side. But uh, keep an eye out for uh, the American Outlaw Derby Products Hard Luck Award here through the course of the evening tonight. We'll go to a driver who has some hard luck on the track and could possibly even go to this wagon right here. We'll kind of see what happens with them. Try to get word of, of why they climbed out before the heat started. If you ever need any, uh, need any parts, make sure you're checking them out. American Outlaw Derby Products, their number is on the screen. recognize Sam Hunt, one of our international viewers watching all the way from New Zealand. Sam, thank you very much. We appreciate you tuning in. Hope you're enjoying the show.
That's a good shot. That's how you try to finish somebody off. And the stick goes down. That leaves four. One, two, three, four. Let's see if they go to three or if they're going to take four, what they're going to do. Looks like... Looks like everybody's holding up. Driver's climbing out, so maybe they're taking four. I don't know. They had the 23, the 34... And then the only one I could tell for sure was uh, James Chrisman, and the one was that white car. He was the one to put the kill shot there on the on the D9. Once again, if you liked what you saw on Facebook, uh, thanks to Jeffy's Fab Farm for, for providing that. But you can watch the entire show, heats two two through ten, on DerbyNation.tv. And I know. There was some strategic driving throughout that heat, but you know how that goes. It's heat number one. The drivers are sort of feeling things out. This driver's list is stacked, and I know the promoter is not going to let that fly for the rest of the night. So make sure you're tuning in at DerbyNation.tv. Catch the rest of the heats. Heats 2 through 10 still to come on DerbyNation.tv. Thanks for being with us on Facebook, and thanks to Jeffy's Fab Farm for providing that live look in.